Okay, so this uh, tutorial should be relatively quick. We need to set up the menu whenever we, or the uh, HUD, when you press pause, we need it to pause the game and we need it to have buttons that you can go restart the level or go level select or even quit the application. So if you remember whenever we went to our HUD, uh, we actually disabled that pause menu. Now what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go re-enable that. So now it will pop up on the HUD but we don't need it to stay up all the time. What we need it to do is when you press pause, we need it to activate. And when you press pause again, we need it to disactivate or deactivate or uh, when we click the button. So the way that we're gonna do that is go to the HUD game object and uh, under the HUD game object, we're gonna give this a new uh, state machine because there are two states for this, paused and unpaused, right? Paused or playing. Um, and so what we're going to do in this is we're going to set this to embedded. Oops, not enemy, embedded. There we go. We're going to set that to embedded. And the start, we're going to rename that to, uh, let's rename that to playing state. So there's a playing state. And then we're going to make another flow here of a paused state. So we're either playing or we're paused according to this HUD. And then we're going to make a transition from playing to paused and paused back to playing. And uh, we're going to, when, when it's paused, let's, let's go into the paused. When it's paused, when you enter into paused mode, we are going to set the time scale on the game to zero. We're gonna pause everything. Set time scale, set time scale to zero and uh, we are going to set the game object of pause menu to active. So set active on our game object. Um, again, we're gonna go pause menu. So the pause, that little pause menu right there, that's what we're selecting. We're setting that to true, setting it to active. Uh, I believe, uh, do we have to set that to instantiate? Oh, no, that's channel, channel, chainable, blah, blah, or the coroutine. Do I just set that as a coroutine? I don't remember. Let's let's leave it off and see what happens. I think it should work without that. So um, when we enter into the pause state, we're freezing time, we're setting it to zero, uh, and then um, on our, let's go back to our playing state on interstate, we're gonna do just the opposite. Uh, and the opposite is setting the time scale, set uh, time scale to one. And then we are going to deactivate that pause menu. Active, set active game object to false. So game object is setting the pause menu. So in our um, playing state, we're not gonna see that, but in our pause state, we're gonna freeze time and we're gonna see that. So that's what, what's happening there. Now, uh, from playing to paused, so the arrow, not that arrow right there, this arrow, the small one, that going this way, from playing going to paused, what we're gonna do is we're going to say on keyboard input, so on, uh, and these are all the different keyboard keys you can hit, on the escape key, when you press the escape key down, then we're gonna trigger this event. Uh, when you go back to your other way, so from paused back to playing, one of the things that's kind of helpful in the way that it has it set up is two things on keyboard input of when you press the escape key down or whenever you hit the button called resume. So on button click, get that on button click, which button? The resume button, where's that one at? Resume button, when you click the resume button, you can click or tr trigger that, uh, that uh, transition. So uh, sometimes you hit the escape key and your, your finger's already there, like you just wanted to pause it real quick, I wanna go back to my game, you hit the escape key, you can do that. Uh, or uh, you can make it to where when you click the resume button with your mouse, it goes back to the game. Uh, so uh, th that's essentially the way those uh, those transitions are working from the pause screen back to the regular screen. So um, 
the uh, the final state should look something like that and uh, just really quickly let's go ahead and set up our menu button as well on our pie screen and then we'll test it all out just to make sure it works so let's go to our menu button uh, where's our button no, it's not in a row pause menu buttons menu button so now we're on our menu button we're gonna set up a flow machine for that flow machine um, and just making sure I was recording there again I, I make that mistake all the time where I think I'm recording it I'm not so I just had to check that real quick okay so go to our menu button um, and we're gonna set up a flow machine we're gonna set this to embed and in this uh, in this little macro we want it to say on button click when you click this button when you which button when you click yourself so we're on the menu button. You don't have to set that to menu button because we're setting that macro up on the menu button. When something clicks the menu button, we want you to load scene. What scene do you want it to load? Well, when you click the menu button, we want it to load the menu scene. And that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna put that one in. That's what should happen. Now let's hit the quit button, just really quickly. Go to quit button, we're going to add a flow machine, set it to embed, get rid of those, same thing, on button click, I want you to quit application. So whenever you get clicked, whenever somebody clicks quit, it's going to close the whole game down. Now it's not going to work when you hit play mode, but it will work when you actually do the game so let's tr let's test that out save everything go back to level one and uh, let's play and hopefully when we hit the escape key we will see the menu time has frozen so let's see up yeah. oh. okay so time is frozen and uh, I'm gonna resume oh I did okay so going back to menu go back to the menu screen now these buttons don't do anything we're gonna set that up in the next video and then we'll be done uh, but also the uh, when you hit your escape key the quit button again it doesn't do anything but that actually does quit the the program in the game so very simple setup there let's uh, let's end the video here and we've got one more tutorial on setting this game up as far as setting the, the menu the main menu up the way that we need it